Loading and handling jobs. There are multiple ways to load jobs into a production server. You can of course use the hot folders and just copy files into them. If you want to use the user interface, you can also just drag and drop files into the job archive queue in the lower left corner. If you have more than one hot folder active, you will be prompted which one you want to use. The settings of the hot folder are directly applied to the job during loading. On the right, you will now see a preview of the image that has been loaded. There are a few different preview modes available. The first one is the document preview that shows the image, and in this case, also the image with transparency. With the icons above the preview, you can select the different modes. There is a separation preview, which lets you look at the ink channel separately. For example, you can check the creation of the white underbase here. Using the media preview allows you to directly control the layout of the image in relation to the garment. With the job placement panel, you can control size, offset, rotation, and also the displayed background color of your shirt. It is also possible to use drag and drop operations on the image to change position and scaling. Once you have finished your settings, you can print the image. Just drag and drop the job into the upper printing queue. The job is ripped first, and ripping applies all color management settings as well as the screening and creates print data that the printer understands. Once this is finished, the printing process starts. Depending on your settings, the printer will start printing or a file will be created that can be loaded into the printer frontend. MIMS MIMS contain all settings to create the print data for the image. This includes profile settings for input profiles and output profile, as well as saturation enhancement for popping colors, and also other things like user control for gradation curves. Depending on your printer capabilities, this can just be CMYK inks. Some printers also include so-called gamut enhancing colors like orange, red, green, or violet. If this is the case, the channels are also editable here. If white ink is available and used for the MIM, it is also possible to control the gradation of the white ink channel. White ink. White ink usage is extremely important in DTG printing for a lot of reasons. White ink is necessary as an underbase on colored or black substrates and can also be used as a design color on those garments. White control is absolutely important as well, if transparent or semi-transparent areas are present in the design. On top of this, white ink is also the one that is being used most compared to the other colored inks, and as such, is the biggest cost contributor among those. This makes white ink control crucial. Production server is creating the white underbase in a very intelligent way. During the color calibration, white ink settings are playing an important part to find the right balance between vivid colors, wash fastness, hand feel, and of course, cost effectiveness. These parameters are already included in the MIMS, so you can start printing with a precisely calibrated white channel as soon as you have loaded a job. If the white ink channel needs tweaking, there are a lot of controls that you can use to increase or decrease the total amount. There are minimum and maximum settings in the print mode tab of the advanced MIM settings. These set the range of white that is being used. Furthermore, you can find an intensity value which boosts the use of white within these limits. 
Together with the gradation curve tool for white ink, you have a lot of control over the exact amount of white ink. If you find a preset that works better for you, it is possible to store these tweaks into a new or an existing MIM. Hot folder and job settings. Most settings can be applied automatically and of course also be changed after the jobs has been loaded. Changing hot folders can be done by clicking on Printer, Properties, and then selecting the hot folder you want to change. If you double click or select Settings, you are seeing different tab for changing these parameters. The most important ones are on the Workflow tab, you can change things like preview creation or automated processing. The Printer tab lets you change settings for use platen sizes and the output path of the printout. Please note, these settings may change from printer to printer. The Job tab has options to change job sizes, the orientation on the garment, and also offsets from the platen border. This can also be changed manually on job level. On the Color tab, you can select the color management and garming settings by changing the settings for Media, Ink and Meta Mode, short for MIM. Please make sure that the selected options match your workflow as correct settings are crucial for accurate and vibrant color output. On the RIP tab, you can change how transparency is being used and also knock out background colors. Please note that these options are only visible if you are using settings for black or colored garments, which uses white ink.